And speaking of the power of who, a gentleman standing by for us, Newsmax TV New York, John Friedman, Professor Rogers, the latest departure from Congress going in to talk radio. While that may be heavy in opinion, less so perhaps in traditional journalism, it is mass communication. What do you make of the congressman's decision and the transition we see from so many folks, myself included, out of Congress into a role that is least uh, related to journalism? Well, you know, it's a funny thing because someone like Mr. Rogers could have more clout perhaps on the radio than he had in Congress, have more of a voice perhaps, and people recognize him more as individual than in part of Congress. Do you think more people are listening to conservative talk radio than watching C-SPAN? That's amazing. But uh, seriously, though, uh, <laughs> Professor, you know, what is this, how does this change the scope? And this is also happening in some ways uh, in the area of sports, where you have a lot of former athletes heading into the announcer's booth. Here in uh, media today, you have a lot of former uh, elected officials like J.D. and Mike Rogers jumping into the, to the booth as well. How does this change the conversation for the, uh, the people who receive this type of information? I think it's good because I think someone like Rogers knows what he's talking about. He's got a real experience, a real hands-on experience, and people want an authentic voice at all times. So I'm in favor of it. I think it's a good idea for the public. John, I don't know if you've done a study of your students pursuing a degree in journalism there at Stony Brook, uh, but knowing your students as, as you probably do, how many of them uh, have have an impulse toward running for public office one day when the people show up to to go to your journalism class how many would you say are just intent on a career in journalism and how many are open to things like perhaps politics well they want jobs in journalism they're starting out they're all in their early 20s so they're looking forward to a career in journalism but eventually who knows you never know what the future may hold now, on the other hand, we've seen people, I, I think, uh, for example, at ABC News, Diane Sawyer, who worked in the Nixon White House, George Stephanopoulos, who worked in the Clinton White House. That transition came, came long ago, but of course, they were staffers as opposed to, to office holders. Do you think, in terms of verisimilitude or cutting through the spin, that, that a staffer in a, in a weird way may carry more credibility than a recovering member of Congress in their role in journalism? <laughs> I do think so, actually. Stephanopoulos has been very effective. He's a forceful speaker. He, again, knows his material, knows his stuff. He's not afraid to ask tough questions. He's not afraid to answer tough questions. Someone like him, I think, who comes out of the political arena is a very valuable person to a network. Now, John, is there also, and let me make you know, not so thinly veiled, uh, uh, affirmation about my job here, but it's also it's important that there is both types of voices here. You have somebody like J.D. Uh, who can give you the perspective from, from inside Congress, but of course most people who consume this media, they don't get to serve in Congress and they need an outsider to kind of parse through uh, what these guys are saying. Talk about the importance of having both types of voices in this, t in this conversation. It's true. You need somebody who's a professional broadcaster to keep things moving and know how to keep the conversation lively, and yet at the same time Someone like Rogers, who knows Washington, knows the issues, knows the voters, is very valuable as well because he can, as you said, parse through a lot of the clutter and give you a point of view. People love a clear point of view nowadays, whether, whether they are any kind of the aisle, of the political aisle. They want a clear point of view so it doesn't act wishy-washy. Uh, John, the, the job market is challenging enough. For, uh, for journalism graduates, heck, for any graduate these days, do you think uh, would-be journalists look at um, this detour from politics to journalism by, well, people like me and uh, like Mike Rogers contemplates, do you think it, it frustrates those young graduates a little bit to have uh, those of us who have been doing something else for a long time getting back into the journalism profession? No, I don't think so. I think they see you as being an elder statesman, someone of value, someone of clout, someone they can learn from. All they want really is a chance to be exposed to the real world, and someone who's got real world experience is very valuable to them in terms of their training education. And I think I can second that. I mean, having you here, J.D., we talk about this all the time. I constantly come to you with a story and say, what's really going on here? What's, what's really happening in Congress? And when you pull back the curtain, and John, I guess this is true in every line of work, it, it really, it, it centers on the job that people have and the job they hope to get one day. That often 
is the subtext to just about any story we see. Uh, John, we expect to see more folks uh, from the public arena getting involved in journalism. And as always, we are very pleased to have your expert insight as you join us from uh, the Stony Brook School with your unique perspective from Newsmax TV New York. Thank you. We look forward to our next well, The water is warm. Here. Jump in. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thank warm you very right much. now for Mike Rogers. Thanks a lot. JD, I don't know if this goes on. Are there guys up there actively recruiting members of Congress to get on the radio? Well, this may start a trend, and I don't radio. Well, really, as as media is changing, and after all, we're we're Newsmax. We're not the media. We're Newsmax. But as our communications and our presentation styles change, I would not be surprised to see more members use this as a career path because indeed a lot of members left broadcasting to serve for a time, so it's natural to see them come back. Speaking of com coming back, when we come back, Obamacare, promises made, promises broken. Congressman Kevin Brady with the remarkable contradictory testimony of the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Right after this, of course, we want to hear from you. Reach out to us on social media. Find us on Twitter at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. Find us on email, connect at NewsmaxTV.com, or reach out to us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Newsmax TV.